cases like this, where it is not always immediately obvious that a child has been abused. Various types of abuse that can take place uh, can range from a bruise to internal injuries. It can range from uh, lacerations, cuts, uh, various types. It's also um, not just the physical abuse. A child can be emotionally abused as well. How's that? That's when a child is not receiving the support, the nurturing that the child needs to help the child to grow into, I guess we can say, a healthy individual. Even though this is labeled as a less severe form of child abuse, it's still disturbing to people who have never seen child abuse. To those people, injuries like this would seem to warrant separating parent and child. But in most cases, like the one we saw yesterday, that does not happen. If the child can be protected in his own home, he would always remain in his own home. The indicator of whether you would need to have protection outside of the home is whether the child was at risk if he remained in the home or not. That's our first priority, is to keep the children at home with their own parents and work with the children in their home and the family together uh, before having to remove the child to a, another environment.